Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous king Icarius, the brother of King Tindareos and the father of Penelope, the wife of Odysseus. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so as to stay tuned for upcoming videos. Overall, Icarius is most commonly known as the brother of the famous King Tindareos and the father of Penelope in Greek mythology. Icarius is usually named as the son of Perieres, a king of Messenia, and Gorgophoni, the daughter of Persephs. Gorgophoni, though, married King Ivalus of Sparta after the death of Perieres, and some, therefore, call Icarius a son of Ivalus. Although when called a son of Ivalus, sometimes the nymph Vatia is called as the mother. Consequently, although Icarius had a number of siblings, Icarus is most commonly associated with Tindareus and his brother or stepbrother Hippocoon. Icarus and Tindareus were expelled from Sparta when Hippocoon became king. Specifically, Hippocoon, with the help of his sons, overthrew Tindareus, took the throne and expelled his brothers from the kingdom. According to Strabo, Tindareus and his brother Icarus, after being banished by Hippocoon from the homeland, went to Thestius, the king of the Plevroni. The king helped the two brothers to acquire possession of much of the country on the far side of the Achelous, on the condition that he should receive a share of it. Thestius would then grant some of this new land to Icarius, who was said by some to become the king of that part of Acarnania. At the same time, Tindarius would marry Lida, the daughter of Thestius. Tindarius would return to Sparta when Hippocoon and his sons were killed by Heracles. Icarus was said to become father to a number of children, by various different women. The most commonly named wife of Icarus was the Nayat Perivoia, although other women, Polycaste, Dorothe, Asterodia and Evrymede were also named as wives of Icarus. The children of Icarus were said to also include Perileos, Thoas, Damasipus, Ifmesimus, Aletes and Ifthime, and, most famously, Penelope. Penelope was the favored child of Icarus, but eventually Odysseus came to Acarnania to seek her hand in marriage. Tindarius had agreed to help Odysseus to marry his niece, although Odysseus was also said to have to win a running race organized by Icarus. The reason why Tindarius actively helped Odysseus win the hand of Penelope was because Odysseus was the one to come up with the idea of the famous Oath of Tindarius, thus solving the main issue regarding the suitors of Helen. Icarius, though, did not wish to see his daughter depart from Acarnania and beg Penelope to stay, although eventually Penelope decided to depart with her husband. Upon the death of Icarius, his Acarnanian kingdom was said to have passed to Alicephs and Lefkadius. Finally, Icarius was apparently still alive at the time of the events of the Odyssey. Let us finish with the following saying. Goodness and truth are the same for all men, but what is pleasant is different from man to man. Democritus. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.